Good morning, class. How are you? I'm fine. Today we will start working on our language notebook and workbook plus. Okay, so be ready. My name is Ana Luisa Darme Polito, and today is Wednesday, September 30, 2020. Our class is called conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that connect other words or group of words in a sentence, and we call them conjunctions. Conjunctions can connect two subjects, two predicates, or two sentences. We've been seeing what is a subject, whom or what the sentence is about. We have seen what is a predicate, the actions, and what is a sentence. Okay, let's read the sentence one. Gulls and puffins are seabirds, okay? This is a goal. They swim and dive well. Gulls soar and puffins swim gracefully. Notice the words in red are called conjunctions, words that connect other words to subjects, to predicates, or to sentences. Conjunctions. Conjunctions can connect other words in a sentence. Sam walked quickly but quietly. The word but is the conjunction. He did not see any puffins or goals. The conjunction is or. He looked at the cliff and near the shore. The conjunction is and. Now, let's see the conjunctions we will be starting during this lesson and, and how we use and joins together. Example, swans and penguins swim. The conjunction but show contrast. Swans live on ponds, but penguins do not. Always use a comma before but. Okay? Or, show choice. Penguins slide or waddle. Okay? I want you to copy this class in your notebook and write the conjunctions in red, please. Activity on your notebook. Okay? Don't forget to write the date on red. The instructions, underline the conjunctions in each sentence. Okay? Remember to underline with red. Parrots live in wild places or in zoos. The conjunction is or. I'm going to help you with the next one. Their beaks and feet are good for climbing. The conjunction is and, and I want you to complete the activity and underline all the conjunctions. This is a very easy activity. Okay, now let's go to our Workbook Plus, page 13. Instructions. Complete this sentence, write the conjunction that has the meaning given in parentheses. So you won't have a trouble if you have your box written in your notebook. So let's read number one. The Fahrenheit blank, the Celsius are scales. The word in parentheses is joined together, and we know that joins together is and. Okay, if you have a dot, you should look in your notebook. Okay, let's do number two. Many people in the United States use Fahrenheit thermometers blank. In Canada, the Celsius scale is used. Show contrast. You know the show contrast is but. So read carefully and pay attention to the instructions given in the parentheses and with the help of the box that you have written in your notebook, it will be very easy this lesson, okay? So I want you to go to the next page. The students in Mrs. Pizarro's class made up a game for conjunctions. In their game, or 
is worth three points, but is worth two points, and M is worth one point. Play the game by completing the following sentences with conjunctions. Write your points on the lines in the thermometer. Warning, the conjunction must make sense in the sentence, okay? Number one, Galileo made a thermometer blank. He was not accurate, but, not as a comma, but, it was not accurate. Number two. Okay, sorry. But is worth two points. So we will write in the first line two points. In the first line. Two points. Okay. The device had a scale. Blank. Was called a thermoscope. And was and was called thermoscope, okay? And N is worth one point. So I want you to complete the activity and send me evidence. Now we will work on our practice, okay? Okay, it says commas in compound sentence. Compound sentences when we have two sentences, okay? Activity, add the correct punctuation to make each item compound sentence. Then write the word that is used to join the shorter sentence, okay? So I already gave you the answers beside the activity so you can complete it. Blue and red confetti fell from the ceiling, but, I'm sorry, so it covered the winner. So it covered the winner. Music played in the auditorium, but we thought it was too loud. Complete it, read the sentences, and go to the next page. It's on page 35. Each item contains two separate sentences. Join them together to write a compound sentence on the line below. Use a word from the box to complete each sentence. Remember to ch check your punctuation, okay? Whenever you delete the period, you add a comma after, I'm sorry, before the word but. The losing candidate was sorry to lose, comma, but he accepted his defeat. And remember to lower the letter H and he, okay? Lower, because you're going to turn the period into a comma. Okay? Be careful, okay? Okay, that's it. Goodbye.